What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a uh, April favorites video because April is basically over and we're heading into May and the year is flying by fast. I haven't done a favorites video in a very very long time. I have so many things to show you guys so let's get into it. First off, the month of April consisted of me trying out a lot of makeup you guys. A lot of makeup like dead serious i found so many so many good things so i'm really really excited to let y'all know what the fuck i have Ooh, here on my lip gloss here. the first makeup product oh i am obsessed with this product you guys you guys have no freaking idea this is the kylie jenner wet set illuminating powder palette looks like this i love the packaging and it's black it's all black and then matte and then the logo is right here and it comes with four highlighters and it's so stunning so the one that i use the most obviously if you can't see this pan is pretty damaged because i use it so freaking much i'm wearing the highlighter today and it's so look at that just nice and it blends so nicely into the skin and it's just smooth and buttery and just mm, it's very very blinding if you put your makeup on like in this type of lighting you probably can't really tell but when you go outside it's just like <clears throat> it is so stunning so booming so mm, so so delicious and buttery and just uh, the glow you know it's all about the glow i always aim for the shade unbothered which is my absolute go-to shade from here do not disturb is like a pink champagne i'm guessing yeah it's like a pink champagne unbothered is just you know i don't know how to explain it it's, it's a really really nice color though it's like a champagne color getaway is more bronze i think i would mix that with like my bronzer like my matte bronzer if i really want to look golden during the summer privacy please is a very very light shade i haven't tried it on my skin tone yet it'll probably look better on me when i'm fair in the winter that's when i get really really light really really like this palette i'm not really sure how much it costs but i got it when it was on sale and it's definitely worth the hype the next product is from kylie cosmetics again and it is the lip liners the lip liners are amazing they just glide right on they're so nice i really really love the nude colors that she has and they're very creamy the nude colors that she has really works for my skin tone and it's really really hard for me to find a really nice nude lip liner for some reason i don't know why but like it's really hard to find a nice nude lip liner for my skin tone. I have these shades Caramel, Ice Latte, and Candy K. I do have Coconut as well. I love the Coconut shade. These are my four favorite shades of the lip liners that she has. Candy, Caramel, Ice Latte, and Coconut. I love to wear just lip liner and then that's it. I don't really wear lipstick too often i did buy a lipstick from her but i haven't tried it yet but the lip liners are amazing i do suggest putting on a chapstick before you put this on it does get a little bit drying but it's not like excessively bad but i love to wear these lip liners they're so good so good the next products we are heading into drugstore lately you guys already know that i've been really really into eyebrow pencils and i'm pretty sure you guys already know which one i'm talking about because i already did my eyebrow routine my updated eyebrow routine i'll leave that to after this video so you guys want to see how i do my eyebrows i love to use the nyx micro brow pencil in ash brown and brunette it looks like this it's so freaking nice. It comes with the spoolie at the end. I believe these are like $10 and it's so pigmented, you guys. I literally do my eyebrows in like five minutes. I haven't used my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in forever. Ever since I found these, like I just go and I'm done with my brows like that. And it's so freaking good for a drugstore. But yeah, I like to use brunette for the, to fill in my brow, like the middle and to the outer part portion of my brow and then ash brown for the inner part of my brow next product is the lip gloss that i'm wearing i love this lip gloss it is so 
freaking good. It's from ColourPop. It's called So Juicy Plumping Gloss in All Talk. I have been wearing this every single day, you guys. I wear this with makeup on, with without makeup on. It's just so nice and it really does plump your lips. You feel like a, a fresh sensation on your lips when you put it on. You don't feel any burning. It's very subtle, but it plumps up your lips so freaking nicely. When I do wear this, I love to line my lips first with the Kylie lip liners, either I believe caramel or ice latte, one of those two I like to use to line my lips, just line my lips. I don't know, when I put my foundation on, my lips just dis fucking disappear, so I wipe it off and then reline my lips to shape them, and then I put this on top and it's just, you know, so, so freaking nice. Like back in the days, I was like, lip gloss is disgusting, but all I wear is lip gloss. It makes your lips look juicy, healthy, hydrated, and that's what I've been loving lately. It's just really hydrated lips, and a little bit more natural lip. I don't like to have a, I don't like to have to reapply all the time anymore, and I hate that drying feeling and cracking feeling on my lips or wearing uh, liquid lipsticks. I don't even wear liquid lipsticks anymore. I just wear lip liners and this gloss which is my freaking favorite if you guys didn't know already i have a discount code for ColourPop. i'll put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can save five dollars off the next product is from ColourPop as well i have two more products from ColourPop. and the first product is this jelly eyeshadow in photo synth sis <laughs> photo synth and then sis and it's this beautiful beautiful look at that like gold yellow it has like a hint of green when i put it on my eyes i don't know it just looks different um under different lightings but it's so freaking nice and you need the smallest i'm telling you girl the smallest amount you know let me just show you all right so i'm taking this small little flat brush and i'm just gonna know dip 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 I don't even have that much on my brush, but like, look at that. It's so pretty. I love, I did a cut crease with this and it was just stunning. You only need a little bit. I didn't even put that much. It's like, look at that. That is so stunning. I freaking love this shade. I love to put it all over my lid or like I like to do like a halo look with it. It's so easy to apply. It's so easy to do a cut crease with this because it's a jelly form and it's easy to control. Since it's not like a full on powder and it has like a little bit of like liquidy feel to it, it's so easy to cut the crease with just this. Like you don't have to put concealer and then cut the crease. I just go straight into this and cut the crease and it's so nice. The last product from ColourPop is this beautiful another yellow shadow which is their super shock shadow in here we go again i have it in my inner corner i don't know if you guys can tell on here because my glasses are in the way but i have it in my inner corner and it's so freaking cute so vibrant so pretty this is how this has been like my go-to like, everyday look just a pop of like yellow in my inner corners. I think it's just so cute, so simple, and it adds a little bit of something. Ooh, and it's so buttery. Like, look at it. This is just the shadow in the pan. This is what the shadow looks like. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is so stunning, and I only used a little bit. I love this shadow for my inner corner lately. It's just so, so cute. The last makeup product is from L'Oreal. I am shook with this product, you guys. Like, L'Oreal is probably one of my favorite drugstore brands. They have such amazing products for affordable price. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fruit Fresh Wear. Okay. It is the Fresh Wear Foundation. I am in the shade. 475 it does oxidize a little bit just a tad bit so get a shade lighter in my opinion i think it oxidizes and then it comes with a pump girl anything that comes with the pump has my name all over it if it doesn't have a pump i'm like huh unless it's estee lauderware then okay i'll be a little you know 
a little slime. You get 1.0 fluid ounce, which is the typical for any foundation. And I believe this was like $12.99, which is normal for L'Oreal foundation. I do have the Infallible Pro Matte one, which I really, really like, but I wanted something that was a little bit more hydrating because my face is like combo to dry to you know it's just combo it has a little bit of everything everywhere but this is just so freaking good it's not overly matte like the pro matte one it's not like hydrating or oily looking it's just very you know natural i'm wearing it today i really really love it i have to use about a pump and a half to put this on it lasts for a very long time and it looks so seamless i fell in love with this foundation because of Desi Perkins. If you guys don't know, Desi Perkins is my inspiration for makeup. She is amazing and beautiful. I love her. If you're a baller on a budget, this is your gal. I have been wearing this all the freaking time for everyday wear, for just, you know, running errands, just going about my day, just for a regular day. Next off is these glasses. Oh my God, you guys, I've been raving about these glasses for ever like all the fucking time and i always get compliments on my glasses lately i have two pairs which is this one this is charlotte and it has a pink frame i got it from diff eyewear when it was buy one get one free so i got this one so cute it is a blue light one so it protects your eyes from the blue light from electronics and all that stuff i also got ridley this is another one that i got and it's so freaking cute you know what? i'm just gonna put it on for you but this is ridley and it's just so chic and so cute and i think the charlotte one is very girly and just you know it gives me a little bit of a girliness to it which i really really like because it's like pink and i never thought i would like a light pink frame but i love how like feminine and soft these glasses are it's not like bulky they do offer prescription i got my prescription with this they do have a limit though i'm not really sure what the limit is i got these two pairs and they're just so cute i wear them all the time over my other glasses that i used to wear i still wear those but i love to wear my dip eyewear ones they're just so cute so mm, just so adorable so last but not least i have two pairs of nike shoes that i've been so in love with lately you guys have been seeing them in my photos in my videos all the fucking time so the first pair is <gasps> My Metcons. I love Metcons so freaking much. This is the 4XD and it's like this nice matte black. You can actually write on this part with chalk and it will come right off. Like this is like a chalkboard, but it doesn't feel like a chalkboard. It just feels really smooth. It has Metcon right here. It has a gum drop bottom, which I really, really love. I really love the gum drop. On the heels, we have a light blue on the left foot and then a light pink, like a pastel pink on the right foot. And the laces are the exact same. Like one is an aglet. I think it's an aglet. I'm not really sure. Like the end of the laces is like a pastel pink and a pastel blue. And I barely found out that my, look at that, like my laces have like a runner's reflect in it. I remember I was squatting or I was deadlifting, I was training legs and I looked at my shoelaces and I was like, why are they glowing? Like they look like they're fucking glowing. They have like a reflector in the shoelaces, which I think is a really, really cool detail. It's really different. I love these for leg day. They are amazing. So the last pair of shoes is my dad shoes. I've been wearing these a lot. I, I don't know what, Happened, but I got really into chunky shoes and I really really wanted something that was white. I love these M2K Technos from Nike and it has a yellow swoosh and this yellow detailing right here and it's super super chunky super comfortable though and then it has like a gray detailing right here and they're just so comfortable these do run a little bit big so I do suggest getting a size half down. I love my chunky dad sneakers they're just so adorable they're so comfy i'm all about the comfort and i don't know why but i like chunky shoes right now i think it's like a thing right now to wear chunky shoes so yeah if you're looking for a really good pair of chunky shoes i really recommend the nike m2k tech notes that concludes this video those were all my favorites for the month of april i love every single product in here and i don't know about you guys but i love to watch favorites videos because it gives me a, an idea of what to try or if i wanted to try a new thing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys get these products a try and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye. Ever since you've been walked past, you